go exactly four blocks to 7th Street. On your left will be a fire station with an old-timey fire engine there. That could be your landmark. Take a right there. Walk between the two banks. Across Main Street, past the mini Statue of Liberty, the Presbyterian Church, the Baptist Church, and bam, you'll be at the library. It's going to be really exciting every day. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Doing very nice. Awesome. Awesome. Good. Hey guys, I want to introduce you to somebody. This is uh, Mona Vance, who is the archivist for the Columbus Downs County Library. We are in the archives, and she's going to give you an orientation of this. In the late 1970s, this community decided that it was going to preserve its records. So they built a state-of-the-art local archives, which you'll get to actually go in today. You won't get to go in it again. You'll get to use resources from there. But I want you to very seriously understand, they are stewards of irreplaceable documents that you'll be working with. Um, you are stewards of those documents as well. This will be one of your starting points, guys. Most of the time, you'll come in here, and this room is open anytime the library is open. Yes. Okay, so if, if the doors happen to be closed and the library is open, you simply go to the staff at the desk and ask them to open them, and well, you should be fine. Never be these will never be closed. Never, okay. ever, ever. Right. Yeah. And you really you go through every okay. source, and you're looking for every name, not just your research subject, but every name that you have connected to them. That's why when we go to the cemetery on Friday, you may find eight people buried on your plot. That's awesome. That mm -hmm. means you have eight windows to look through to get to the path. If you only have one or two, might be a little bit more challenging, okay? But doesn't mean it's an insurmountable task at all. So, you know, but you'll start here. Most of them will be in Lowndes County. You'll check just about every resource, looking through the index, looking for all of the names, and possibly even misspellings of your name. We'll talk about that some this coming week, okay? But this is a really important room for you. Any questions, guys? All right, it's pretty straightforward. You'll walk up here. Like I said, the route will be up College Street to 7th Street, which is the street we're on, and then to the library and go back the same route. When you start coming here, well, we'll have a schedule done by Monday, hopefully. I need that library worksheet, your schedule worksheet, turned into me by Friday, okay? So you need to bring it Friday, work it out in the meantime. If you've got it done when we get back, that's cool too. Just give it to me, okay, as you get off the bus. No, if you've done Monday, you're good, okay? I will also be giving you on Friday library card applications. All of you will get a library card at the Columbus Lowndes County Library. If you're from Lowndes County and already have one, you're okay. If you don't have one, you need one because the library card will give you access online to one of the databases that they subscribe to, but you have to have a library card number to get into it, okay? So you're going to need that library card number. You also may end up using it to check out books for the outside reading book assignment, for example. This is a pretty good little public library. The last thing I want to say is this. We were going in and Bree thought it was the Batman library. Wasn't it you that mentioned that? Okay. The name on the front is Chibi Bateman. Chibi Bateman was the librarian here for over 50 years. When she started working as a librarian, the public library was in the parlor of an antebellum home behind the Episcopal Church. Then she got the local people to fund it enough to move into what is now a little pottery behind the library. If you're interested in pottery, by the way, go there on Saturdays. It's called Three Oaks Pottery. The, um, the guy who is the potter's daughter came to MSMS about 15 years ago. But anyway, so there's a connection. But anyway, that was the library. And then the public school, the high school was right there. It was Lee High School. It burned down in the 1950s. G.B. Bateman got the community to fund this new state-of-the-art library in the 60s and then to add on to it in the 1970s. So if you ever question whether or not one person can make a real impact in a community, you just look to me, you just look at that library and think about where it came from during her career. She let, she's now passed away, but she left a legacy in this community that you're benefiting from and thousands upon thousands of children and adults benefit from on a daily basis, really, but certainly on an annual basis, okay? So remember that. You know, if you ever doubt you can make a difference, just think about Mrs. Bateman.